years to play to that, you know, and this is fantastic. Do you guys want to go out to dinner and talk about a label? Do you, you know? So we go out to dinner. <laughs> and I realized back then, even at the age of 22, there were 30 people standing in line at his dinner table waiting for his honor. And they literally were standing in a line. And it was at a place called Cicero's. It's a really cool place on Sunset Boulevard, right? And George is obviously going to pay for it because he's like super rich guy. But here's what he had to put up with. I'm sorry, Mr. Harrison. I've loved your, your music for so long. Would you please say that? And George was so sweet, so kind, except that the person was going to be a jerk. He'd go, you can leave now. Because he did not suffer fools gladly. But he took his time and was patient with everybody that treated him with respect. And I, I remember thinking at the time, even at that young age of 22, I don't want to be that famous. Fame is not the goal. Fame is not what it's cracked up to be. Man, being famous is a burden. It's, it's a piece of crap as far as I'm concerned. Look what Miley Cyrus did. In the oh. <laughs> I mean, come on. Does she need that much attention? Does she really need that much attention? Did daddy not give her enough attention as a child? What the hell is wrong with that woman? <laughs> Nobody's ever going to wear their hair in a bun like this anymore, ever. They're gonna be good. She's going to be, oh, you're Miley Cyrus. In you know, I mean, they're, they're, that's become a, she's become a pariah in the industry. And she got a lot of press, which is probably what she was looking for. I mean, sticking your tongue out and rubbing your butt against Robin Thicke, well, that happens to be a, a, a tool anyway. Um, but but I, I look, and, and, and it was took, took place in this toilet bowl, which they called uh, Barclays Bank Center, where the uh, Brooklyn Nets play. Oh, yeah. And it was a horrible, horrible thing. The only cool thing was, was uh, about it. I'm a Bruno Mars fan. kids to me, man, I, the, and, the, and I respect these guys because they really have the raw talent it takes, and they work their tails off. You want to be in this industry? Have a one, have a single-mindedness of purpose. Work your tail off. No matter what you want to be in life, figure it out what it is that's going to make you the happiest. First of all, don't think about making money, because money does not buy happiness. Makes it a hell of a lot easier to live in this world because we're also money oriented. But it's not going to buy you happiness. I know plenty of, believe me, I know plenty of rich people personally in the last 15 to 20 years that have killed themselves because of their unhappiness or, or some other thing. And they've got everything they, they got everything they want. So money does not buy happiness. Happiness only exists in the here and now. Decide to be happy. Make a choice. It's a choice. Think about that. Think about that. It's a choice to be happy. I've had to make that choice dozens of times over. And it's kind of self-explanatory. Brother, my brother, one blue and one gray. Meet upon a quiet field the morn of judgment day. Brother, my brother, God has heard your battle call. Now he'll watch his precious children learn how to stand, learn how to fall. And his eyes will look away. As his heart will so be torn As his fields of gold turn scarlet From the rage of battle born And the silence of the night Will be broken with the cries Of the ones who've been forgotten On a quiet field Where on lies Give me now a splendid sun With all its light will clear Give me now a gentle
his arms on it. Always put the chair without you. Now you gotta sit at the edge of it because you don't want to. Okay, it's coming. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Kennedy. And I saved $10 from my paper.